In this video, I'll be showing you how I teach my horses to sit on an object like a bean bag or hay bales. I teach this sit differently than I do the sit from the laydown. For teaching this type of sit, you can either do it from on the ground in hand or under saddle. For the purpose of keeping this video shorter, I'm just doing it on the ground. Sometimes it is easier to ride them to teach them how to sit. I do plan on making a separate video for being on them for the sit and also the sit directly on the ground, like from the lay down. This one just covers sitting in hand on the beanbag. I will be showing the sit with one of my PMU foals, Calypso. I have not tried to have her sit before these clips. She's never seen the beanbag before these clips. This is only exactly two weeks apart of her learning how to sit. First thing I do is give my horse a chance to get familiar with the bean bag or the hay bales, whatever I'm using to have them sit on. I let them look at it from front on. I let them touch it and check it out for a while and just kind of get comfortable with it. This is important because I don't want my horse being nervous or anxious backing up onto something that they're just not comfortable being around. The next thing I do is test my horse's back up and make sure they're soft backing up. I don't have to be pulling on their head really hard, I can have plenty of slack in the lead rope. The next thing I do is letting my horse get comfortable with the object being behind them. Sometimes they can get a little bit nervous or weary about it, so I just make sure they're okay with it being behind them. And then after that I get them comfortable backing up towards it. So you can kind of see she's a little bit questioned right there. You can see her ears are kind of sideways and she looks a little bit back at it. So I really want to make sure my horse is fully comfortable with what I'm asking. Then I want to be able to back them up to the point where they're touching it. I want them to be able to feel the bean bag with their hind legs. Some horses, it takes a little bit longer for them to get used to this feeling. It can kind of shock them a little bit when you back them up and then they touch an object with their hind legs. So this is important to make sure your horse is okay with having an object back there and touching them. The more comfortable your horse is with having the object touch their hind legs, the better. And now I'm going to back her up a little bit more just so she slightly rocks back and touches even more of her leg to the bean bag. You can kind of see her hind end drop just a little bit. She's starting to sway back. She's starting to get a little bit more underneath herself in position to sit. And I have to make sure that I release her enough. That way she understands that what she's doing is correct. In this clip, you can see that she's not backing exactly straight to the beanbag anymore. And this is where side passing and yielding the hindquarters and moving the shoulders can come in handy because you can kind of tweak what direction they're backing up in. And it's not unusual for a horse to start going crooked backing up to the beanbag because they're anticipating it. But the more control I can have over the hind end and kind of show her where I want her to be, the better. It's kind of just a balancing act until they have the trick down to a T and they can just back up in a straight straight line and go right into the sit. In the early stages, it is important to be able to move each body part individually to help them with their straightness. Once your horse is comfortable touching the bean bag, ask for a little bit more every time before releasing. Make sure to let them rest when their hind legs are touching it, give them scratches or if you use positive reinforcement correctly they can have positive reinforcement It is important to have your horse backing up straight into the bean bag because if you do ask them to back up to the point where they drop their hind end, you don't want them to fall off the side of it. So you want to make sure they're as evenly lined up with it as they can be. That way they don't scare themselves when they go to sit. You're looking for them to 
try to continue backing over the bean bag to lower their hind end and maybe even sway it a little bit and kind of position their, their front feet. And that's another step there. See how she lifted up her hind leg and kind of rested it on it? That is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for her to try continue backing up into the object. And it's good when they start swaying their hind end a little bit. They're definitely thinking about going down further. These are all pretty good signs. And that was her first session, which was two weeks ago. And this is her second session with the beanbag. So I let her check it out significantly quicker this time. I just let her go over and sniff it. And now I am going to work on getting her to evenly line up with it, making sure she's comfortable with it behind her. And now I go right into backing up to it, letting her get the feel of it on her hind legs again. She's a lot more confident this time, not as questioning of the beanbag. Again, it's really important to try to stay as straight as you can leading up to it. And there was another really good sign right there. She just bent her hocks pretty well thinking about sitting down. I was going to reward that. And then this time she fully sits down. So sometimes what they'll do is they will back up even further onto the bean bag, and you don't have to worry about that. Um, sometimes they have to go a quarter or halfway over the bean bag until they feel like they're able to sit. Once they're sitting, I leave them until they feel like getting up. They can pretty much stay sitting as long as they'd like. I'll give them scratches. Of course, she knows the lay down trick, so she just went right from laying down, but normally they'll stand up and walk away. So I'm going to ask one more time, make sure it wasn't just a fluke, make sure she's starting to understand what I'm asking. I'll back her up into it. I won't ask, I won't pressure her into it right away, and I'll still reward her for the small try she has backing up and leaning back into her hawk some. They aren't always as gentle as her at sitting the first couple times. Sometimes they get nervous when they lower their hind end and it hits the bean bag, but as long as you keep them straight and you try to reward them as soon as they try, they should be okay. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what else you would like to see on this channel. I share a lot of Mustang stuff on this channel, especially about the Extreme Mustang Makeover, a lot of how-to videos, some training sessions, just a variety of horse stuff.